10 million views. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. This is crazy. <laughs> it's crazy that there's 10 million views on this. All right. <clears throat> Let me pull it up. Let me pull up the Dick Cerdo article only for one reason, okay? <laughs> only for one reason. Because they refer to this guy as an ex Heroes of the Storm player. <laughs> and I thought that shit was funny as fuck. <laughs> totally unrelated to the story. I think the way that Dick Cerdo reports on articles is so <laughs> fucking good. Like, don't get me wrong. I hate Dick Cerdo as much as the next person, however. However, <laughs> referring to it that way is really funny. One sec. Here we go. <laughs> a former... A for, sorry. A former Heroes of the Storm player has, been, has exposed messages alleging that his wife was cheating on him with Twitch streamer Moon Moon. You guys are doing him so dirty to call him <laughs> Heroes of the Storm player. That's so mean. As someone who plays the game, that's mean. That is, that is fucked up. Anyways, I don't even know what game that is. Good. Good. So, I'm surprised people don't even know who Moon Moon is. Like, like that's like King Bald. It's like OG Bald. An incredible NMP clip that's related. Oh God, I'm scared. And I and I see Moon Moon and I. Nick's reaction to his interaction with Moon and Siobhan. I see, and I see Siobhan. Uh oh. We're going to. Let's go. What is this? We're going to bed. Uh, well, take my number, boys. Yep, we'll do. You guys are going to bed Please. together, right? Yeah, we, yes. we, we live together. Sexual oh. style. Oh my god. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yep. We be... hold hands. Okay. I, I want to get to where you're at. <laughs> oh no, dude. Oh no, dude. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Dude. Oh man, dude. Uh, and I sh and I see Moon Moon and I see and I see Siobhan. <laughs> Let me get to where you're at. Oh my god. Oh, again, please. I missed it. Yeah, sure. Uh oh. We're going to. Let's go. What is this? We're going to bed. Uh, well, take my it's... number, boys. Yep, we'll do. You guys are going to bed Please. together, right? Yeah, we, yes. we, we live together. Sexual oh. style. Oh my god. Okay. Mm hmm Yep. That should we hold be... hands. Okay. I, I want to get to where you're at. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. It's so funny the second time. <laughs> uh, oh god. Oh my god. It's so good. <laughs> <laughs> The fact that he walks off. Oh no! <laughs> it's so good. Oh man. Oh, dude, fucking good. Anyways, anyways, anyways. All right. So here's the TLDR. Let me pull it up. Let me pull it up. He goes on Twitter. He also posted it in multiple subreddits. This guy whose wife cheated on him. Uh, here's like the post. It says, hey, everyone, not really easy way to say this, but Jillian, Diva, Jilly, my wife of 15 years and the role player of Siobhan on No Pixel GTRP and the love of my life has apparently been cheating on me for months with the Twitch streamer Moon Moon. Attached, you will find their messages from TwitchCon that I found when I was trying to see if she was okay after not responding to my check-in messages Saturday night. They really sadden saddens me that it came to this after months of assuring me it was all RP. I was sold the lie that it was about sex positivity, girl bossing, when in reality, they were just living out their secret fantasies while both being married. I'm sure their rabid fan bases won't care. 
Calling Moon Moon's uh, fan base rabbit is very weird. Um, but I'm also sure that there are plenty... And I'll, I'll play his clip and you'll understand why I say that once you see the context. Uh, his fan base is not... They're rabid about, like, making fun of him being bald. That's what they're rabid about. <laughs> but, like, can you blame him? <laughs> Anyways. Um... <clears throat> But there are all, I'm sure there's also plenty of people who will feel vindicated by this, especially those who are who warn about the dangers of ERP. Thanks, Trav. I got curious after finding these messages, checked other DMs. There were multiple guys that she was sending and receiving sexual videos with. Uh, all of them in no pixel, DOJ, no point in attaching these. She would call them her daddy <laughs> or favorite or whatever pet names curating uh, uh, emotional relationships behind my back and then had the audacity to act completely normal at home. Her best friend warned me about this, didn't take it seriously. Uh, this level of compulsion, compulsive lying and sociopathy is honestly something I should have seen coming. Uh, this is the same person who would be the first to grandstand virtue signal about any other streamer drama. Since I was unemployed, she told me my job was to check other streams to give her intel on what people were doing at certain times to make sure she had the best outcome for her character. It's not fair to anyone involved and admittedly very scummy, but hey, it worked. I guess the moral of the story is no one is safe and nothing is sacred in this industry okay so i have a lot of opinions okay <laughs> but i don't want to say my opinions this guy sounds like an ex hots player <laughs> yeah, definitely 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 ex hots player no 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 no. uh a bit of a bit of serious tone okay a bit of serious tone there are i feel like two extremes <laughs> she was metagaming no the worst crime <laughs> no i feel like there are two extremes here one is um the position of like this is so terrible. I hate that anyone would ever do this. I hate that people cheat. This is horrible. Based. Based speaking out on it. And then the other one is like the mold take of like just Asmongold just being a huge asshole to this guy. Like I really don't think that that was necessary. I don't, I don't have the clip on, on hand. Maybe I can try and find it. But um, this guy was a... Uh, I spelled Asmongold wrong. Let me see if I can find it. Hmm. All of these are about are old. I can't find it. But is it this one? Maybe. You put two S's? No, I accidentally wrote Asmund Gold. This? Hey, you've one. Not easy way to say this. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I have the video on slow mo or something. Hey, Bobo, what, not easy way to say this, but Diva Lily, my Biden? wife for 15 years, the love of my wife has apparently been cheating on me for months with the Twitch streamer Moon Moon. No fucking way. Get that birth control taken out, and I'll have you bent over and knocked up day one. That's a promise. Stop. In... Don't read the chat messages. Stop. <laughs> no. It's this guy right here. This is him. Oh, there she is. Yeah, she's hot. No, she is. <laughs> what? This is editing. What is this editing? <laughs> Man, this guy right here thought it would be. This is photoshopped. <laughs> okay. A good idea that he has a wife and kids to meet up with this girl that he's been ERP. Uh, w just as a quick pin, uh, we'll watch it ourselves together. But like, as we go, Moon Moon did say that he's been divorced for. Uh, they've been separated for two months. So he was not cheating with a wife and a kid. Being with in Grand Theft Auto at TwitchCon and fuck the shit out of her. While he's married and she's married. Adultery mm, was never- I a love good Asmongold reporting that's just totally just not factual at all. Excellent. <laughs> Problem so for conservative life, Christians. So- in a while. I missed your content, Dimbo. Oh, precise gameplay. Oh, thank you for the eight months. Long as it's the man doing the cheating. Well, you could say that she's being consistent. I saw what the impact of my dad cheating did to my mom. If you can't be honest about not being able to be monogamous, you shouldn't trick someone into believing otherwise. Bro, peak fucking virtue signaling. I love this. I'll tell you this. I feel bad for- Where are Asmongold's lips? Dude, he's white. Leave him alone, man. <laughs> okay? This is what white people used to look like before filler. Well, other than all the mold, okay? Leave them alone, okay? 
Their life is really hard. Her husband. I do. Not because she cheated. A guard, thank you for the five gifts. Don't know, but because he played Heroes of the Storm. I mean, that's sad. Wouldn't someone who loves his wife so much not risk losing all that by, in quotes, role-playing a, in quotes, fake relationship? Uh, one, I super love my wife. And my wife would be like, mm, you're talking to that, that, that fucking role-play girl. And like, that's the, that's the difference between you and me is that I have no feelings for the person on the other end of my role-play character. I have no intentions of speaking to them out of character. You're projecting. We're not the same, motherfucker. I am the GOAT. Yes. <laughs> you are a fucking jerk off dude and uh moon moon admits <laughs> to it in this chat right now moon moon just posted an update in his discord didn't bother reading the dude's post on twitter <laughs> the disrespect the chick was in an open marriage his idea not her i've been separated from my wife for like two months never talked to her inappropriately while we did rp shit out of character no contact except about in-game shit twitchcon was pretty sweet uh-huh sure the guy tweeted he was not in an open relationship we were not in an open relationship. Why would she talk about cheating and packing her bags? That's not how that works. Ha ha ha! Lying, Baldy! Did I intend on doing something? No. Did something happen? Yes. Did I I'm sorry, Wait, but like... You did I... I... <laughs> I don't think... Asmongold... I, I don't... I, Asmongold... Oh my god, sorry. I'm getting my Baldies mixed up. I don't think Winwin's lying about that. That seems really bizarre to Nintendo on it. And I'll have you bent over and knocked up day one. That's a promise. Stop. My <laughs> wife. I don't want to see any of these chat messages. I don't want to see them. I don't want to see these. these... <laughs> Dude, I can't believe we live in a world where people are just allowed to post sexting DMs. And I have to read them on the internet. I hate that, that I have to do that. Anyways. Anyways. <laughs> oh, go, oh, go. I can't believe I'm going to say this, but I'm going back to work. Yeah. <laughs> this guy was able to find two people willing to sleep with him. He has Stavros Riz, guys. You guys just don't get it. And he's really good at video games, and that's really hot and sexy to a lot of women. Mm -hmm. Talk to any female gamers. It's true. It's true. Mm -hmm. No, don't say that. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, okay, next thing I want to do before we move on from this story, I want to talk about a couple things. This is, this is so crazy to say all this shit, but I want to speed through this story so we can get on to other stories as well. Okay. Most recently. Baldy went live to talk about this. So I thought we could watch it together. So you guys can understand my opinion. And then we can move on from this really ridiculous story. <clears throat> Bonus stream, no. <laughs> well, let me be clear. There was no TwitchCon orgy. You have to believe me. <laughs> it's not real. <laughs> well, there was no freak off. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. I just woke up. Basically. <sighs> mm -mm. Can't see the cam? Oh my god, I'm sorry. You're right. Nice bathrobe. Thanks. Look at how tiny his cam Thank is. You. <laughs> Big thanks. Now that you're divorced, can you do EU-friendly <laughs> streams again? Not divorced yet. Yet. Separated. Yes. Single dude arc?
His dad is so funny. The guy funny. who said, who, how was the divorce? His dad is so funny. They did the, they did the shower emo and wrote Asmund jump scare. Yes. Yes. I'm yeah, sorry. You guys should see it as well. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're right. I, I need to make sure that you guys get to see that. Worse news. <laughs> Bro, I moved. I moved. Look, look, even his mods. Asmund called jump scare. <laughs> shower. <laughs> uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, no ring, months. Obviously, I'm going through a divorce, man. <laughs> I, yeah, I think the fact that his stream background and the fact that he moved should be pretty big evidence that they've been separated for a while now. Like, you, what, what? He's had the same background for years, and then suddenly his background changes like a few months ago. Where'd you move to? None of your business. So it was actually real? Yes, man! I was just trying to, to be private about it, you know? You can also hear the Goon Cave Echo audio, yeah. It's hard. <clears throat> Reply to my DM from 2019. Um, I wish there was a way to like, okay, first of all, thank you for all the fucking money. Mucho appreciate. Um, it feels a little dirty doing a little stream like this. This guy's funny. I wish I didn't know that he sexed how he sexed it. <laughs> You know the worst part? This is not even close to the worst sexting that has been exposed online. This was like so relatively tame. I wish I hadn't seen it and everybody else wishes they hadn't seen it. But the worst part is it wasn't even that bad. Like it really like I've... It really was not. <laughs> and getting paid for it. I wish I could just turn my stream on and like disable that shit for a second. Uh, regardless, I'll take it. Thank you. Uh, that's not why I turn my stream on. I turn my stream on so you guys can ask me questions. Okay, we'll do a rare little Q&A where I talk about me private life. Because I feel like I owe that definitely to people who give me money. So. When was the stream yesterday? Most certainly. Sex review and score. All right, we're not gonna. Re His wife was down bad for Moon Moon. That's the par best part. Listen, it's not women's fault that men don't listen to us when we say we're attracted to personality. Okay, it's not our fault. It's not our fault that so many men listen to like Andrew Tate and they're like, no, for sure, women only care about if you got the Bugatti and if you got hoes and bitches and mad money and you're the most annoying person to be around. Like that's not our fault. Okay. We're very clear about it, all right? We're very clear about it. <laughs> Want a guy who's good at video games, okay? Can beat every single boss in Elden Ring level one in the DLC level one fist, okay? Great, excellent. Want a guy who's funny and want a guy who's got uh, a little a bit of balding, a lot of balding, and then a little island of, uh, of hair. That's it, that's all women want. Women are cultured people, okay? I'm sorry. That's what they want. It's not my fault. You guys don't listen. <laughs> Review the sex, guys. <laughs> As a married baldman, I can confirm this. <laughs> <laughs> Literally how I risked my wife was gif responses. Do you think you were lied to about the open marriage thing, or is the other guy on Zanny's? I asked multiple times. Women want Northern Lion. Multiple times, I was like, is that truly the case? And she said yes, and I believe her. Uh, I don't I don't really... The particulars of their relationship is, is barely even my concern, right? So. Dennis, someone just sent us that I love Baldi's artwork for printing in my job as you said that. 
I'm not, I'm not interested in going into the particulars of their relationship even. You're, I need to get a shirt that says I heart Baldies real bad in the style of like I heart New York. It's 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 not my business. Oh. <clears throat> uh when am I coming back to Jacksonville? Never. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> Florida State loses. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. <laughs> oh. Address the breeding kink allegations. Yeah, that's that's the worst part about all of this, guys. You guys see the uh, the mid thirties flirting. <laughs> it's, it's so fucking embarrassing, dude. <laughs> oh my god, dude. So, for those who are interested, now I will show it. And no, do not ask me to read it, because I will not read it. <laughs> okay, you can go fuck yourself if you think I'm going to read it. No. <laughs> but for those who do want to, I will read all the non-sexual parts. <laughs> Mainly, I'm pooping. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> all right, here, if you guys want to see it yourself... Text is too small. Please read it. I'm only audio, though. You're typing right now. <laughs> How many subs to read it? <laughs> man. Oh, man. Do I... <sighs> Am I really so cheap that I would... Am I such a cheap whore that I really would read it out for subs? I don't know, man. I don't know. Let Asmund Mold read it. No, no. No, I'm not. No, that's worse. That's so much worse. That is so much worse. <laughs> Put on some classy music and read it. Skill Cylinder, thank you for the five gift subs. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Nobody from Ohio, thank you for the prime. Playing coy, I see. <laughs> okay, fine. Fine. I cave. I cave. You guys are so lucky, I like you guys, that I like chat. Specifically this chat. You guys are so lucky that I cave so easily. But I am taking chat suggestion. Suggestion. JD Vance dossier just dropped. He cheated on his wife in RP. Stop. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I gotta set the mood, okay? I gotta set the mood. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Sako, thank you for the gift sub. I saw on sex invasion account, thank you for the five gift subs. Bread, thank you for the gift subs. Smelser, thank you for the five gift subs. Kurt, thank you for the 40 ones. Thank you. Okay, fine. She says, Mayor Cat. Shouldn't say Mayor Cat. <laughs> Alright, sorry. I got distracted. I'm a stalling. I'm stalling. Sorry, sorry. I'm done stalling. I'm done stalling. Bumble, thank you for the gift sub. Don't give sub moon. Stop. <laughs> oh my god, thank you for the gift of night pot. Alright. She says, call. He says, I'm pooping. She said, fine. I cannot begrudge that. Unrelatedly. Enjoy sleeping in that bed tonight without me there to make it a furnace alongside you. That was not the primary issue impacting sleep quality, and you know it. He says, I haven't a clue what you could possibly mean. Not one. A clever squirrel, thank you for the gifts of time pooping. She said, plain coy, I see. Sir, I slept really well last night, just not long enough. So boring. I know, that's what I said. <laughs> Could you do her messages in an Irish accent? You do... <laughs> there are going to be bombs in my car if I try and do an Irish accent, okay? You don't want me to do that, all right? 
You don't want me to do that. Mr. Perry, thank you for the gifts up to Goon Goon. Uh, he said, me too, honestly. And then she put a little smiley face. And he said, do you still have a headache? And she says, nope, turns out eating was good for that. Who knew? Also, probably water. Thanks for checking on my headache. He said, of course. I'm pretty sure I left the ibuprofen over there, too. He said, you spoil me. And then he says, hello? Hunter man, thank you for the gift. Ten gift thumbs. Thank you. Oh god, I don't want to read it. Oh, I don't want to read it so bad. He said massive chillman. And then she said, I literally cannot stop thinking about you destroying my pussy. I'm a degenerate, depraved cum slut. Flocky, thank you for the five gifts. Of. <laughs> he says, I've been pretty much thinking about blowing my load inside of you nonstop. She said, same wavelengths. I like your frequency. I can't wait to be bred by you. He says, Get that birth control taken out, and I will have you bent over and knocked up on day one. That's a promise. Ten minutes you appear to have hands in the way of your mouth. Yeah. You speak up, I cannot hear you from next door. <laughs> I have to cover my mouth, okay? Because I can't, I can't have all of this in one clip. I'm sorry, it's too embarrassing. She said, I swear to God, my ovaries couldn't get any warmer or fuzzier. Speaking of breeding cakes, happy nine months. What the fuck? Stop! Stop. Stop. Uh, one sec, I'm getting a phone call. Hello? Oh. I missed the phone call. <laughs> Never mind. Probably wasn't important. <laughs> like my manager. You need to stop. <laughs> stop right now. <laughs> Zero <I'm> Chrome. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why I said Chrome. Zero. <laughs> thank you so much for the five gift subs. That's not second names. I can't think of the five. <laughs> Fools, thank you for the prime. It was Moon calling. Hello, this is Moon speaking. Stop. <laughs> I'm going to curse you with balding if you keep going. <laughs> <laughs> he says they could if I dumped my load into you TBH she says mm, I wish you could have heard the whimper that just escaped my lips he says just try to make it just try to make one like it when I saw you with my dick again <laughs> you see <laughs> Feels like this feels like <laughs> it's just this feels like somehow I don't know it's never happened to me because my dad is too computer illiterate but like catching your dad watching porn or something that's what it feels like. <laughs> and then the worst crime that she commits is uh, sending Eminem lyrics. In the musical of my mind, I had Majesty by Eminem and Mickey as our as like our song for a while because of Eminem's part of the lyrics. <laughs> She's very reddit coded, yeah. What Hello? A phone call. I'm pooping.
going back. <laughs> yeah, it was, uh, it was Moon Moon calling. I'm unrelatedly enjoy sleeping in that bed tonight without me there to make it a furnace alongside you. Yeah, Moon Moon was like, stop. <laughs> to you. <laughs> then you will be balding. <laughs> Of course you get a call in the middle of your goon stream. <laughs> Thank you for the five years of sun sex we picked out. Thank you. All right, all right, all right. <clears throat> Anyways, there isn't really anything else. I don't... Everything else is just like some... Uh, dumb adults, middle-aged middle adults flirting. It's not interesting. And then there's this one. Hello? I am now on me computer. <laughs> I, I love the hello. <laughs> oh, Lord. Anyways, okay. We get back to VOD. That's enough of that. You guys happy? Are you guys satisfied? So did he think that she was in an open relationship? Yeah. That's what she told him. And maybe you guys will think that I am insane but i think if somebody tells you that i don't think you have a responsibility to be like oh let me go double check with your husband just to make sure in fact i think it's kind of like kind of <laughs> a little weird to do that <laughs> be like can you give me your husband's number i need to make sure that's <laughs> that's fucking weird i also think it's on the person you're dating to be honest and open with you it is not anyone else's fault if you're uh, it is only the fault of the person who cheated on you, not who they cheated with, unless they, um, unless they knew and they were doing it or they were doing it to fuck with you or whatever. It, you entered an agreement with this person and this person broke that agreement. I don't think you have to check with <laughs> somebody else or some other shit. And he was separated. Um, Anon, thank you so much to the gift. Uh, stop gifting to Goon Goon. Stop. Okay. What can you do? What can you, this is this is how this is how this is how adults flirt. They talk about their ovaries and having kids and paying bills and what have you, man. <laughs> Speak for yourself, dog. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> Well, well, I now have some time to finally complete the fight caves. Hopefully. Mm -mm. Mods, if you want to put stuff on... You think Sneeko watched this shit and, like, jacked off? He was like, if only I was sitting in the cup chair. Screening and shit, I don't know if you're like... This isn't like a... Like a... Let me be transparent <laughs> stream. This is a... Uh, Talk about me, stream. <laughs> Sorry, I'm done. I'm done. Sorry, okay. <laughs> that one was at the expense of Sneeko, which is Don't okay. put the logs on the stream. Those that will get me big. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, stupid fucking mistakes, man. <laughs> 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 a chatter a chatter wanted it dude <laughs> was the situation with the pets i don't really want to talk about like <clears throat> division of assets or anything like that not that I, you know fucking mistakes man um let me say this okay uh my my wife we're still technically married we're separated okay terms of separation is simple all right we do whatever the fuck we wanted. Did I intend on doing something? No. Did something happen? Yes. Um, we don't tell each other about what we do because uh, during that period, it, it's none of our business what the other person is doing. Um, yeah. It must be hard. It was hard at first. It was. It sucked ass, dude. Um, I, I'm finally glad I get to talk about my divorce shit a little bit with you guys because it, it it has been hard. 
or at least it was. It's not like fucking like terrible, like you know. It's just my wife, one of the most amazing people, even today that I've ever met, ever, straight up, straight up. Um, and our, our marriage failed because I, I just wasn't putting in the effort to like, you know, keep that person and she, she deserves better than that. There wasn't any like, like cheating, like, like I, I didn't talk to Jill at all out of character, out of respect for my wife, um, you know, except for like stuff that was happening, the like. The need to be relayed out of character about like roleplay shit. So, um, was the RP an issue? No, guys, no, no, <clears throat> sus. No, trust me, it wasn't, guys. What was the hitchhiker thing? That literally just what I told you. <laughs> the hitchhiker story was real, guy. That's a real story. <clears throat> so is DJ life not being compatible with healthy relationship? Um. So for a long time, okay. I was very selfish with my time. Um, I'm going to tear up a little bit. <laughs> We're, gonna, we're truly going to get a transparent moment. Uh, too much RuneScape? No. Like... For a long time, like after streams and stuff, I, uh, I mean, my wife would, would normally be asleep, you know, and then uh, I'd stay up late, decompress from streaming and then, you know, I'd wake up late. So just, Was I unfaithful to my wife at all prior to separation? No. Two ships passing in the night? Yeah. It's, um... So, initially, when I wanted to talk about this, I just wanted to talk about it very briefly. But then I realized a bunch of people were coming, with, coming to conclusions that I feel like are unfair to the parties involved. Which is why I decided, fuck it, we're just going to do the full segment. And I just want him to speak for himself because I think him speaking for himself is much better than me trying to speak for him. Okay? Um, and I wanted to say a couple points. You guys know how in politics or in the politics sphere there are like the rhinoids that insist that every single problem can be solved very easily with some simple solution? Like they'll be like, oh, you know, cost of living is high and I can't afford my medical debt and I can't afford school and I can't afford groceries. This must be because Browns are immigrating to our country. The reason I'm whispering is because there is maintenance staff that called me that is in my apartment right now and I don't want to be so loud that they can hear me. So please uh, bear with me, okay, because I don't want to get kicked out. Okay. <laughs> all right. Do you guys understand what I mean? They'll be like, oh, all of the bad things happening in my life. Read the logs now. No, luckily I read them before they got here. Okay. Uh, all of the problems that I'm having in my real life, all of the bills I can't pay, all of the <laughs> doctors I can't go to, all the school that I can't go to, these minimum wage jobs that fuck me over, that I can just get fired at any point with no severance. Um, all this other shit, 
all the, my entire life being in the shitter. This must be because uh, the West has forsaken men and the institution of marriage. And you're like, what? No, that's stupid. That's really dumb. No, c issues are complicated. And to solve the issues, you have to sit down and fix every single issue or find the actual root of what's causing all of these separate things and then fix that. And no way is, is the institution of marriage failing you what is causing all these other things. It's fucking stupid. It's the same sort of thing here. Um, I mean, people who've been in relationships know relationships generally usually don't end over one thing. They usually end over lots of different things. Right? It's usually like a final straw that gets pushed too far. Again, there are exceptions. There are some times where it is just off of one thing. But usually it's over the course of a long period of time that a lot of tiny little things built up and the thing causing all these things never gets fixed. And then there's one final straw and it's like, we just can't do that. You know, the extra fart under the blanket. Yeah, it's like, did you get a divorce because they farted under the blanket? No, you got a divorce because that's the 600th time they farted under the blanket and they're fucking ripping holes through the sheets because their farts are so toxic and you can't keep buying sheets. Someone who's good at the economy, please help me. I'm spending $8,000 a month on sheets. It's not, it's not what's happening, right? It's the same sort of thing here. There are a lot of people that are very quick to be like, obviously this has to be because uh, of the RP. And no, no. More realis more realistically, I mean, I think we can take him at his word. And I think him saying that two ships passing in the night is genuine. And yeah, I totally agree with you, Black Hulk. We'll get to that as well. Really quickly, I'll address it. I don't understand why the husband posted all this on Twitter in three different four, three to four different subreddits instead of confronting his wife of 15 years. I mean, what did he gain by posting this sympathy from random online strangers? I also had that question as well. I also, I've never understood when people do this. I mean, it, it feels a lot like just you're mad and you don't think life is fair. So you want to right some wrong that occurred against you. But it doesn't make sense that it's online. It's also like one of those things that you would regret later. If he ever wanted to do some content or wanted to be online more. Now he's just the guy who posted that Moon Moon fucked his wife. Like, <laughs> like I think it's one of those things that you regret later after having posted it. I just don't know. I, I don't understand it. This is personal stuff in my opinion, but whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, also, certain parts of it don't make any sense, but I, what, it doesn't matter. Don't make any sense is in like um, the part where he talks about being unemployed and then says that his wife was having him go check other streams. I. Is that like supposed to be bad or wrong am i supposed to be like mad about that i don't understand i never i didn't understand why he posted that it's obvious that he wants the internet to dunk on his wife yeah i mean 100 percent. that's what he wanted um i just think it's weird i just think it's weird i don't i don't know that seems like you i don't think you're gonna move past it and get the help you need from dealing with somebody cheating on you and lying to you because for me it's never been um Sorry, let me be very clear. For me, the thing about cheating that sucks is the lying aspect. Like, I could not, like, it is crazy. It is insane to me to lie to your partner. If what he says is true, uh, and I'm just going to take his word for it, to lie to your partner for months. Like, you are a piece of shit to do that. You're just a piece of shit to do that. Are you a piece of shit to have sex outside of your marriage or whatever? Yeah, 100%. But there's like levels to pieces of shittery, right? The type of person that acts in bad faith, that whatever, whatever, throws away their marriage, has sex once, and then goes and tells their partner immediately like, hey, yeah, this happened, whatever, we're moving on. I'm, if you don't want to be together, it's fine. It's like, uh, yeah, okay, whatever, sure. To lie for months? How do you not feel bad? How do you not feel bad about that? Oh my God. <laughs> Maybe I'm the insane one because like I don't lock my phone or my like Apple Watch or my computer or any of that stuff. And when I've been in relationships, uh, I don't give a fuck <laughs> at all. If someone I'm dating looks through my shit, I don't care. 
If you see something on there that makes you upset, like there's nothing on there that should make you upset. And it's probably something I don't have any. It's all out here. Fucking go for it. I don't care. I could not imagine holding in some lie from the person that this you're supposed to be like this with. Women. That's so crazy. How do you not like get stressed all day and all night? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I would be so stressed. I would have nightmares. I would have nightmares day in and day out. The aspect of like, uh, I mean, and you guys know me. I've always thought emotional cheating is like a hundred times worse than physical cheating. But that's always just beginning because like I think... I think it's because I like open relationships. I think like personal physical attraction to somebody else doesn't mean anything. Somebody having sex with someone else doesn't have to mean anything. It can be totally emotionless. Lying for months while building an emotional connection with someone else, way worse than having sex with someone. Way worse. Like a hundred times worse. Especially someone who does it and is like comes clean immediately and is like, yeah, I did this. Ball is in your court. I can't live with lies. Like I can't do that. And you deserve to know the truth. Like, not that that's okay. Not that that's okay. Not saying that. I'm saying I don't understand how people do the lying for months thing. That I don't fucking understand. That is like, it doesn't, my brain cannot compute. My brain can't, it just can't fucking compute that. Like, you're living in a hell that you've created for yourself. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> that's so crazy. That's that's wild. But anyways, um, Naomi, <laughs> moving on, moving on. Uh, that's got to take a special kind of sociopath. I mean, I don't think it has to take a sociopath. I think it just has to take someone who's kind of selfish. Oh, no, I accidentally closed this. No, I didn't close it. So moving on, moving on. Um... Right. I don't think that this is an RP thing. I mean, so he describes it like two ships passing in the night. I think what people don't understand about, uh, not don't understand, but like something that's overlooked with regard to like streaming. And I don't like, dude, people will stay on topic. We'll stay on topic. No, no stun locking. So Hassan talked about this. Unfortunately, got caught up in all of the, oh, your job is the hardest job in the world. But that's not what Hassan was talking about when he was talking about streaming being exhausting emotionally or like mentally exhausting. I think it's like um, an easier version of customer service. Like if you work retail, imagine working retail and the exhausting levels of retail. Um, but at least you get to sit at home and you get to make your own hours. I would compare, so obviously, I've always talked about this. I think retail workers should have a gun that they fucking get to use on customers that are really annoying, okay? I think if I'm really annoying to a, a, a staff member, you should, they should shoot me. They should. I think that they should. I, I think that their job is fucking difficult, and I don't think it's fair that they get to just get berated by customers all day and all night. Um, and I think uh, there is some aspect of, like, getting berated online, you have to do customer service for all these people. And yeah, you can ban them. But the thing is, there are so many more people that will see you. So if you work in like a Macy's or something, you're only going to get a few hundred customers a day, maybe on Black Friday, Black Friday, maybe more. But physically, it is not possible for your store to get more traffic than a few hundred a month. Or sorry, a day. It's not physically possible. With content, one creator can clip you and now there are hundreds of thousands or millions of people seeing you talk about something that's been clipped out of context. And your brain obviously is not meant to deal with that many people. <laughs> Infinite scaling. Yeah, exactly. Your brain is just not meant to deal with that many people being negative towards you. You're not like, <laughs> we are not, <laughs> we're meant to live in caves and villages, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Um, so there are a lot of other aspects that like suck about content. This is one of them, your personal life getting put on blast and you don't want to share any of this shit, but now you have to get on stream and be like, well, I separated from my wife and yeah, getting divorced or getting separated sucks. And it's been really hard and I feel like a piece of shit. And now I have to share all that with you guys. And now all of you saw my sexting messages that I didn't want any of you to see, which was not great. Like that part of it can get exhausting as well. So there's there's that level of it, right? Um, just that streaming is not a physically exhausting job and it never has been, probably never ha never will be or whatever, right? 
Um, I'm pooping. <laughs> you all know that I was pooping. Yes. What was I trying to say with this? Right. Um, because of that, and you can talk to any streamer, I promise you. Ask any streamer that you watch. Every single streamer I've ever met, myself included, takes an entire hour or more immediately after streaming and does nothing but like stares at their phone or computer or just lays there silently. You just like need the time to be like, decompress, <laughs> decompress, <laughs> decompress. Much like any other type of emotional service job, right? You need the time when you get home to just fucking lay there and do nothing. Um, and especially if you're like video game addicted, which a lot of streamers are probably, <laughs> probably is a little video game addicted. You end up just wanting to play video games in your free time, right? So it's hard to make time. And this is like a common problem. This is why there are so many streamer relationships that fail. Especially if both people are streaming, which is why so many streamer streamer relationships fail. You both spend so much time working and then so much time outside of stream also working. And then the time you're not spending working, you're taking time to decompress from working. And then you do the same thing tomorrow and the day after and the day after and the day after. And it's very easy to um, not make time for the stuff that's important in your life, which is what he's going to say very soon. Um, and I think that the RP stuff, we've seen it destroy relationships because uh, it's such a time sink. It is such an insane time sink because it's so much fun and it's such a social thing that I think it's very normal that if you, and put yourself in like someone else's shoes for a second, P pretend like you're dating an RP streamer. And, and worse, pretend like you're not a gamer. You're like pretty normie, okay? You're dating this gamer who just wants to play video games and stream. That's all they want to do, all right? And you're like, man, I wish we could spend more time together. I wish we could go on dates. I wish we could do this, blah, 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 blah. And they're like, no, <laughs> babe, I got to play video games. <laughs> babe, <laughs> I have to play video games. And you see this connection that they form with other people online. And you see how much fun they have talking to other people online and playing and sharing this hobby with other people. I think it's very normal to see that and be like, I wish I could have this relationship with you. I think I wish my relationship with you could be this easy. And I think that's why GTA RP can um, expedite problems that already exist in relationships. I think anyone who's saying like, oh, they started dating online and then it became real and then blah, blah, blah. And this, I think that's fucking stupid. I think that that is like, no, I think that that's very unlikely. I think way more likely is you want to spend time with this person who doesn't have any time because they spend it all working or relaxing from working. And you wish you could have this bond with them that they have with other people. You breaking down my last relationship on stream is wild. Sorry. <laughs> real, about, real about it being a time sink. Apparently when Hassan first started GTA RP, he would spend 